that Javante Davis fight is on. Man, that's so, you know, I had to pull the fight up, man. And uh let's just say it was an amazing fight, and I loved it, bro. Did you get a chance to watch that fight at all? I, I did watch the fight, and, and the outcome came as I expected. You know, um, I don't expect Tank to lose too many fights, you know. He he trained under Mayweather, he know the game, like he's not gonna. He's not going to really book guys that, that can beat him, honestly. He's not going to book too many guys that can beat him. So everyone that he books, I feel like he pretty much is comfortable with and knows that he can beat them. He plays on the safe side just like Floyd Mayweather, uh-huh. if you ask me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I can I, – I'm not going to uh, compare him to Floyd because I don't think – I think – dang, Davis controlled – the ring. And if you if anybody knows Davis, like he'll take a couple hits to get his. And right. you know, he talked about that in one of his interviews on a million dollars worth of game. And um, the one thing that that was happening in that fight is round one, uh Romero, he won it. Two and three, he won it. And his trainer at the end of the fight, when they went to the uh the little trainers' corners and they show like what the trainers were saying, his trainer was spot on. Keep using your jab. You're scoring. You're winning every round. Do not chase him. And what happened? That one right. time, he chased him. And like uh, like Tank said, he ran right into it, man. And I'll tell you this. They were throwing so fast, but Tank was throwing faster that I could barely see him swinging live. Like, I, at first, I thought he was just getting out of there. Then when dude fell, I'm like, oh, he must have gave him a body shot. And right. Then when the replay finally came, like after ten minutes or whatever, realized he got punched dude straight in the head. And, and you know, a lot of boxers get caught up in that rage moment where they're trying to get, get, get. I'm trying to hit this guy, and boom, you're knocked out just like that. And if you ask me, the guy was, he was nearly winning that fight. That guy was nearly winning that fight versus he won every he was in, round. He, he won was in a round. comfortable position, but he got knocked out, and yep. and, and that's. That's sometimes that's what fighters that are not as experienced do. You know, they yeah. they come in like, oh, oh, I got him. I'm, I'm feeling good. But boom, one good punch and, and you done. Right. And Tank is, to be a small guy, Tank is one of the strongest punches I've seen since, May, since Pacquiao. Pacquiao is one of those small guys with that powerful punch. And Tank reminds me a lot of a guy like that. He's small, but he has a powerful punch. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of his because I say that in the history of bucket, boxing, he's the best close quarters fighter. And, you know, a lot of people be like, well, what about Mike Tyson? But, yeah, Mike Tyson was a great close quarters fighter, but he wasn't as accurate as Tank is close quarters, man. And, okay. And I, I have never seen – I, I watched boxing from Evander Holyfield, all of that. I, I mean, watched a lot. I watched a lot as well. And if you ask me, Mike Tyson is still the most exciting boxer of oh, all yeah. time. Yeah. He's by far the most exciting. Like you will get a knockout round one to four guarantee with Mike Tyson. It's not like you're not gonna watch boxing all day long. He's yeah. he isn't gonna if you wear him down, you have a chance at beating him. But yeah. he's gonna give you the knockout. So I get what you mean in the comparison with Tank and Mike Tyson, but at the same time, no one compares to Mike Tyson in my eyes. He's still oh, yeah, the most yeah. exciting. 